Hi, and a huge subscriber Sunday. Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. This is the time when I take requests from you, the viewers, and make them. Now, I made that tzatziki dip a couple of weeks back, and somebody said to me, will you make a hummus? I absolutely love hummus. Now, you either take a couple of cans of these chickpeas, or as I've done here, I've soaked some dry chickpeas overnight, and then just simmered them in a little salt water. They're delicious and nutty. Now, let's get on and make a fantastic smooth hummus. Now we're lucky here because lemons are coming back into season and I've got to thank my neighbor Paul for his lemons fresh from the tree. We're going to add three cups of our chickpeas into a food processor. Now my chickpeas have the skins on, whether you get them in cans or you make them yourself, they still have the skins on. Some people like to take them off. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. And I'm just going to add in five or six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And now it's time to add the wonderful tangy lemon. Now I've taken one of the lemons for the time being, I'm just cutting it in half and I'm going to use both sides and squeeze the juice into the hummus. Now this is my delicious homemade tahini, but you want about a cup of tahini because I've got three cups of chickpeas in there. Now I'm adding in a couple of cloves of garlic and a good tip is to take the side of your knife, and just bash those down. And rather than add salt into the hummus directly, we're just going to sprinkle some coarse salt over the garlic. And then we use that salt to grind the garlic into a paste. Now the salt and the garlic combine together to make a lovely smooth paste, which we can then add into the food processor. Now we'll get the lid on our food processor and we're going to blitz this until it's smooth, but I'm going to show you a trick to get it super smooth. Now I've stopped that and had a little taste. I think it needs a little extra lemon in there, so I'm going to take that other lemon now and just put that juice in there as well. And just occasionally you're going to have to open this up and just clean down the sides with a spatula. And it's important now to get the seasoning and the flavour exactly as you want it. So I'm just going to add a little bit extra salt for my liking. And it's at this point most people will add more oil. But we've already got an emulsification of all the fats in there. So what we need to do now is add just a little water, a few tablespoons at a time. And straight away, what that does, it starts to release all the flavours and let them float around in the oils that are already in there. So not a great deal at all, but look how smooth and creamy that hummus is becoming now. And I can tell you it's adding the water to it that just releases and allows everything to swim about in the hummus. So this is the last chance now if you want to add any more seasoning, but this, I can tell you, tastes absolutely delicious. I'm happy with it. And what I end up with is this beautiful, thick and creamy hummus. Now rather than pour olive oil straight over the top of that, I've got a little smoked paprika here. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into that. Give that a little stir through. And then I'm just going to pour that over the hummus and that's ready to serve. And not only is that one of the prettiest things you'll ever see, it's the saddest thing you'll ever see. And why is that? because this dip bowl is part of a four dip bowl service. And now I've got three empty bowls. And our little hummus is like the only person that turned up to the speed dating. There's no one to share the fun with. So what I want you, the viewers, to do is help me fill those other three dip trays up. What you can do is comments down below and just say what sort of dips you would like to have. Or even better still, click this link here and get across to the Google Plus entry and just tell me what you'd like to put there or even give me a recipe. Now the best ones that I receive will use over the coming weeks to fill these other dips up and have some fun. So comments, full recipes, whatever you choose. I'd love to hear from you guys. Please share the love. Give this one the thumbs up. I'm going to have myself a little bit of hummus. Take care. Now what I'm going to do with my hummus is I'm going to make those flatbreads. I'll leave the link there. I'm going to make some beautiful little warm flatbreads. Have it with my hummus. I'm also going to leave the link here to the tahini. So if you want to get across and see how to make homemade tahini. It's been a lot of fun having you guys. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Let's hope we can come up with some great dips to make this guy some fun. In the meantime, be good. I'll see you next time.